far the biggest off-road race in the world. Absolutely. No place I would rather be on Labor Day weekend. we got some big motorsports events happening across the country. But i got to say, right now, the biggest one of all is here at the Big House at Cranon International Off-Road Raceway for the 50th anniversary World Championship Off-Road Races brought to you by Polaris Razor. As our short course cars are getting ready to go into turn number one, remember, they are going to be running that oh, super contact short. Oh, Visser. Oh, yes. Oh, oh car over several times. Wow. Five, six times. In turn one, I didn't get a number on that, Jim, but what a tough roll. That was scary, scary stuff there for one of these kids. That's immediately going to bring out the caution. There was a lot of bumping and banging there, and... Man, that was a hard, hard lick. I don't know that I've ever seen a short course cart tumble like that, and... Uh, we were just talking about how they had all the safety gear, and nice. I know those cages are built well, but anytime you're coming that fast into turn one, it's scary. Man, there was a lot of people getting crossed up, putting pressure on each other, and... That is Johnson in the lead in that race-driven ride as we take another look, Jim, and right there, yeah. Visser, then make contact, and then you'll see right in the middle of your screen, he makes heavy contact. Nowhere to go. Ugh, oh, tough, tough roll. There was nowhere to go, and uh, just got caught up in that turn one chaos. Scary, scary situation. It's our Polaris Razor Pace vehicle. It's like all the trucks, Jim, have come to a stop. We're under yellow flag, just trying to get that truck flipped back over. And that is the number 88 there that we are flipping over here. Looks like that is, I'm trying to see, Ryan Shunk that is racing today. We had Warren Shunk in that ride yesterday. Yeah, tough, tough break. That 88 went for a ride. Be interesting to go back in the pits and check that car out. So cool to see how many volunteers are trying to push that truck, get it off. So we get this track right. Oh my, he's back running. That was one of the scariest rollovers I've ever seen. And the 88 <laughs> of Shunk is fired back up, going to rejoin this field. That cart looks just like it did when it went off the starting line. You got to appreciate that. Not a, really a dent or ding on that thing. No flat tire, anything. I mean, yeah. it took hard rolls. I mean, that was a, a big bar snap barrel roll. That had it gone over four or five times. That shows you how safe and tough those cars are. Wow, you got to give that uh, number 88 is Shunk a, a really, really big shout out. Most kids would have phoned it in after that and said, I'm done, wow. but uh, Shunk going to rejoin this field. Kids, hey, it's World Championship Day. Even these kids understand. <laughs> it is World Championship Day. They want this ring. Oh, yeah, you imagine coming from the back of the pack. He's, he knows the car is still good. I mean, it's going to reset a lot of things. We might go back to the original restart. Yeah, that was touch and go there for a minute with that start. I mean, we had a lot of contact in turn number one. I mean, that was 20 carts going in there, and, uh, you know, they were five, six wide at times, and things happen, and, uh, you know, I think people got sideways and just there's nowhere to go when you're coming in there screaming, Brent. Yeah, I mean, there's only so much room, especially when you have 20-plus trucks in the field and just one little mistake by one driver, and Visser had nowhere to go. They locked fenders and... Tough, tough break for the 88, but he's back out there. He's ready to run again. So our Polaris Razor Pace vehicle is uh, pulling these Brew Pub Pizza short course carts to a stop. We're getting things cleaned up. We are going to get them re-racked, restacked, so we can restart this race. I feel like it's going to be a full restart at this point, Brent. We didn't even get yeah, through the first corner. You're right, Jim. Yeah, we didn't get through the first turn clean. So, see the 97 of Aiden Wanasega. There's Funk, but two, four, six, eight, eight trucks back. And we talked about Funk. He's our points leader. And it's not easy to get through these carts. They're so similar. They all work very, very well. And these kids are getting very good at what they're doing. 
they're learning week in and week out. I remember Aiden, when he first started, he was towards the back, just getting his feet wet. Now he finds himself running for the points championship once again. Looks like we've got a lot of course workers trying to sort through these 20 vehicles, get them in their right spot so we can restart this race. A lot happen in the next two days as we sort through these. Obviously, we've got a lot of racing happening today. Uh, one of the big uh, events later on today, after Pro 4 wraps up, we will have our Ultra 4 Ultra Cross race right here on the track at Cranon. They're going to be running back into the woods, running over the rocks, and it should be uh, a great, great run there through uh, through the backwoods. And, uh, you know, it's always fun to watch. That was one of the special ones yesterday. Rolling into tomorrow, uh, we've got some really special races. Obviously, the Pro 2, Pro 4 uh, races and world championships as well as uh, the World Cup challenge but uh, even added races tomorrow as we've got the uh, Cran and Good Old Boys finale race uh, we've also got the Polaris Razor race of champions it's gonna see uh, some guys like Kurt LeDuc and some of these guys come back and all race in Polaris Razor RS1 spec units and I think that's gonna be one that's really fun to watch Brent oh yeah definitely and it's so cool to have those vintage races I remember coming as a kid there was good old boy cars, enduro trucks, and some of those good old boy cars, they were pretty much just bring it right from the backyard, put a little cage in it, and try to win. And that's what grew this sport so much. And talking about growing, look at that crowd in the background already, Jim. There's only going to be standing room probably this afternoon. Crowd is packed in here. Looking to see some of the best off-road racing in history this weekend with some of the biggest entry lists in the history of the sport. Definitely worth the price of admission out here on Labor Day weekend at the Polaris Razor World Championship Off-Road Races at Crandon International Off-Road Raceway. So we get a glimpse there at the crowd and some of uh, the fans is packing it in here. Standing room only at this point. Get a glimpse there at those Red Bull banners laying host to the Red Bull World Cup race, the Cranon World Cup race. Got the Ferris wheel going on, probably the best view you'll get of the track and uh, back there into Jurassic Park. So we get these uh, short course carts lined up. Get a glimpse there at some of our vendors and uh, all the people making their way in here. We got to get up on that Ferris wheel, Jim, maybe tonight. So some 50,000 plus fans going to be in attendance <laughs> oh. this weekend. I guess that's total gate through the whole weekend. I think they're expecting to break records this weekend, probably close to 60 maybe before things are over. That is crazy. I remember as a kid coming here, standing room only. Now it's just you can't get a campsite. You can't get the grandstand tickets anymore. We are sold out. Like, this is the biggest race we've ever seen for short course in history. I've been around this for a long, long time, and every time I come to this place, it gives me goosebumps. Just the atmosphere, the people, how cool it is. Just me and you, Jim, walking around, getting to interact with just fans and just the sport as a whole, just everyone that's here, they want to see the best racing. And where else do you want to be? You want to be in Cranon for the 50th. Yeah, we've been talking about it forever. And, uh, you know, people, I think they've had their calendars marked for a couple of years now. You got to be at Cranon. You got to be here for the 50th. And so far, we've witnessed some great racing as we continue on. I mean, looking at our schedule for the remainder of the day, right now we are knee-deep in the Brew Pup Pizza Short Course Cars race. we got the Vision Wheel Sportsman side-by-sides. That'll be up next. And we're going to move it on to some more car racing with the Rugged Radio Mod Carts. Lincoln Electric 1600 buggies will be after that. And then we'll have the Mountain Dew Super Stock Trucks Pro Stock side-by-sides, Ponzi Super Buggy and Pro Mod side-by-sides. And then we will be handing it off to our good friends at Red Bull who will be taking us through the rest of the day with Pro 2, Pro Light, and Pro 4. We get a glimpse there. Are you going to jump on that to ride that, Brent? I know. That's what I was telling you. we got to go on the Ferris wheel. I don't think about that other one. I probably... I, I, you don't need me going yeah. upside down. <laughs> no, the Ferris wheel is about the most I'll go after. and Probably could see all the way downtown Grandin from up there.
One thing I am enjoying is the uh, amazing food here at Cran. We always we talk about the cheese birds, <laughs> the cheese curds, and the chicken wings. And I got to tell you, the, the food here at Cran does not disappoint whatsoever. They always got to put us by it. <laughs> I know we get those nice whiffs of that, uh, all that deep fried goodness all day long. Can't necessarily call this work or vacation. I don't know. And if I'm on vacation, that means I can eat what I want. So right. I'm taking it all in at Cranon. Uh, but we are uh, looking to go green flag racing here in short course cars. We're rebooting this thing. We didn't have any laps in the book after that crash. So we are back to green flag racing. We still got a full slate of laps still to go. As these kids are dropping the hammer, they are running a, an abbreviated short track. So they're going to have this crossover road here right in front of the VIP suites. Yeah, you're right, Jim. They'll take that right hand on your screen, go up over a big step-down jump. I've already seen Troy Johnson. Oh, that's Visser again. Early contact in turn one that created our caution and our red flag, and now he's upside down once again. Yeah, Wesley Vandervoort leading, but uh, as you said, Visser up and over. That's going to bring out another yellow flag. Boy, I, we can't keep it going. I don't know if this will be a, re a full restart yet again. I know at some point they'll probably start trimming laps here. Boy, Andy Johnson, he just makes his way through. He had a good, another good restart in that race-driven ride, and now it just gets taken away. So a good look at that 80 of race Visser. And we talked about history and legacy and families in the sport. And the Visser name has been around for multiple seasons, and it's so cool that he can put his kid race in a truck. And like we've seen before, when the 88 went over, they're safe. So I'm pretty sure that race is okay. Something might be wrong with the tie rods on that machine because the tires were major towed in. Yeah, it looked like maybe he just got pinched up against that embankment, kind of a little slow roll onto the side. Car looked totally fine. They're probably gonna flip it back over and race will uh, rejoin this field. So we've got our Polaris Razor Pace vehicle bringing these uh, these short course carts around. Speaking of Polaris Razor, I know they have uh, some demo rides they're doing with the all new Pro XP. So uh, our title sponsor of the weekend, Polaris Razor, they do are on site. They are doing demo rides in the brand new Pro XP. So if you haven't had a chance, make sure and make your way over there to our good friends at Polaris Razor. Check out all they have to offer, all their brand new units and uh, that industry game changing all new Pro XP. I had the opportunity to sit in one of those, Brent, and I gotta tell you, man, they have changed the game as far as UTVs go with that Pro XP. Man, they're going over the top. The side-by-side -side world is just getting rambunctious dude like never know what you're gonna see always creating new things and just like this sport it's it's become a big part of the short course game is the side by side the pro mod pro stock stock side by side we're gonna see later on today a lot of great battles we talk about car counts we can't even get through all the names before they throw the green flag there's 30 40 cars in every class yeah, some stacked fields in side by sides. We'll get we'll be getting to those next with the Vision Wheel Sportsman side by sides. But right now, it is all about short course cards. We don't even have a lap in the books yet. This has been uh, been a little chaotic to start things off, and uh, we're gonna go back to green flag racing. It is Wesley Vandervoort leading. Let's see if Wesley can keep things going as Johnson putting some pressure on early. Yeah, Johnson. He doesn't want to waste any time. Gonna try to go on the inside. And he does. He's side by side going up the jump. They make contact in there again. Wow. Two cars. We Andy got, Johnson, man. We got four of them there. Johnson, Vandervoort, and a couple of others. They're at the top of the hill creating a bottleneck. These kids just can't get through a lot of clean <laughs> here. At least no one went over on that. But we have a parking garage there. Looks like the number 27 in the mix there as well. That's Hunter Van Zyl. Well, luckily, Jim, it wasn't yesterday in the rounds we raced last night. If this was this many cautions, we had to just red flagged it and went on to the next one. Yeah, you got to give these kids a lot of credit to, you know, issuing a lot of pace, patience here. And uh, I don't think it was anyone's fault. I mean, uh, that just, it pinches off there. It gets really narrow. And uh, yeah, he called it right a parking lot 27, 50, 13, 54. Our amazing safety team there trying to get everybody unhooked. Wesley Vandervoort, I mean, him and Andy Johnson came in on that race-driven ride, and they went up the crest of that hill, and, I mean, you can't say they were turning into one another, maybe they made a little contact, and once those wheels got connected, they just both went around, and 
poor Andy, he's been trying to get a couple more wins in that race driven ride and that Ponzi ride really helping them out this year. And his brother Troy, you'll see him in mod cart later today. All right, so a couple of our leaders and fast drivers, uh, Wesley Vandervoort and Andy Johnson, uh, tangled up in, the, in that uh, incident there in turn number two. And look at that. Look who's out front. <laughs> so Michael Funk now going to be uh, your uh, leader. He's going to inherit the lead. It's going to be Shunk there in the second spot, and it's going to be Nordrum in the third spot. So rebooting everything here after that uh, incident. We do have, uh, I believe, a lap in the books now officially. Boy, Michael Funk, he was started 12, so already to be in the lead, what, we only had three laps? So he's right where he needs to be. And tough break for those two guys right there and we'll see if they can make their way back through the field it's not going to be an easy tax especially if we're going to maybe cut some laps or whatever with the time see how long this race really goes this is the longest three laps i've seen all year in the short course carts yeah just about the time you're running ahead of schedule at crandon things like this race happen and you get a little bit behind but we're going to try and get some laps in here michael funk he is currently leading we're going to be looking back to go green flag racing and brew pup pizza short course carts green flag out we're back racing it is michael funk in the number seven going to be taking us to turn number one through the barn corners the number seven of funk Boy, Funk opened up a big lead on that restart. Yeah, Shunk dropping back a bit. Look at that, Funk. Whoa, Funk hitting kind of, uh, looked like cutting the corner there a bit and kind of upset the number seven, but not enough to. Boy, Shunk, that's crazy. In 88, it's back into second place after our first caution went over in turn number one. That is just awesome how those trucks can stay together that just shows how the research and development in this class has just grown like everyone is building a lot of their own stuff and i know mark rahanowitz he was big into developing the first couple cards with the greaves and kurt greaves and kyle greaves do a lot of work for these classes and they just want to see the stepping stone just keep going and right now funk his dad's racing later today it's a little battle amongst themselves week in and week out like who can do better well funk Definitely having a good run right now in the number seven out front. He's got a trio of cars behind him, Shunk, Nordrum, and Wanda Sega all wanting to cycle into that podium battle. But right now, Michael Funk out front. Yeah, you're right. Wanda Sega finally stepping his way in the top five here. But Funk just in a league of his own, coming back in front of this big, big crowd in Cranon, Wisconsin, here for the 50th once again. And... There's a car up against the wall there out of the race line. And Funk, that number seven is just pretty fast. It's dialed. And make it through that cutover road. It is the number seven of Michael Funk leading. Nordrum in the second spot, Chunk in the third so far. As Funk's going to click off another lap. Just a Sunday drive here on a Saturday afternoon for Funk. They've really come a long way with that truck. It's so cool. They have matching race vehicles, him and his father. Funk's been very, very fast in super stock truck all season long. And that's just one of many races yet to come. And it just gives me goosebumps, Jim, to just say how many different classes are so competitive. So many competitive classes out here with uh, just absolutely max capacity fields is funk getting around uh, some lap traffic there there's visser race visser back underway oh look at look at funk getting pushed to the outside by some lap traffic there white flag continue to stay out that's the thing on when you're here at cran and there's so many cars i know the track is a little bit longer but for these guys these staying in front of the crowd and Funk taking no time getting around slower traffic.
Funk coming back by what will be the finish line here in that number seven. And taking the checkered flag, it's gonna be Funk once again in that number seven ride. Unbelievable run here after so many restarts. You gotta give the kid credit. It's, it's not easy to keep starting, restarting over and over to get that focus. And he did what he needed to do today, Jim. Well, he did what he needed to do, and I got to tell you, he's going to have one proud dad as uh, his son has now been crowned world champion in short course carts here at the big house. Looking at the rest of the field, though, it is Carter Nordrum, Aiden Wanda Sega going to round out your podium, and it is Hiding and Holcher in the top five. Jackson X going to be there in the sixth spot. Hope Conrad, Porter Inglesi in the eighth spot. Sam Lawrence and then Andy Johnson going to round out your top ten here in Brew Pub Pizza short course carts. With our winners when we return will be Tiffany Stone, but we're going to take a short break uh, right here at the Polaris Razor Cranon World Championship Off-Road Races 2019. Here with our top place finisher, Michael Funk. Make your way out of there. A big congratulations to you. I never know who smiles bigger, you or your fathers, but you taking that top spot today, I know how hard restarts are. And you not only had one, two, you just kept having restarts after restart. How do you keep yourself calm and collected to bring it all the way to the top of the box? I just gotta keep waiting until I get that moment to when there's another one and, and you just try to get around most of the people that are like that are that are tangled up or something and try not to get into a wreck. Well, you've done it here. You stayed calm, you stayed collected, taking that top spot. I know you got to thank a lot of people for bringing you here today. D&D Millwork, my mom, my dad, my grandpa, Sandy, all the red hat ladies, Jane M Yard Care, Corey Oil, and yeah. Well, you've done it here. I, I haven't heard you do a shout out to the Red Hat ladies yet, so that's something new. A big congratulations to you. One more round of applause for Michael Funk. Heading back over here and Carter. Nice job. Good job sitting up there, buddy, so we can just be eye to eye. Obviously, you had to go right under Michael and you had some restarts, but your smile, you raced the 50th, you put it on the second place box. What are you feeling like today? Amazing. Amazing, that's awesome. I know you have to thank a lot of people. You've had a great season so far. What does the 50th mean to you? A lot. A lot? Who would you like to thank? My Grandma D, Grandpa Doug, Mom, Dad, Chandra, Jesse, what? Gino, uh, <laughs> and everybody else. It's okay, listen, when you make it on the second place box here at the 50th, you become speechless. It's quite all right. Let's look at the back, Carter. What does this say? Living life one lap at a time, and he's done it here. Congratulations. Moving over here to Aiden. Aiden, we were hanging out in the pits yesterday, and we were doing some racing that you were on your bicycle, but you've done it here today. You've taken a third place spot for the 50th anniversary here in Crandon. I know you got a lot of people to thank, and how are you feeling today? I feel great because um, when the race first started in turn one, someone got in a wreck, then there's a lot of restarts, but we had a good run to here today. And who would you like to thank, Aiden? I would like to thank my sister, my mom, my dad, General, uh, General Tire, Hannibal Potawatomi, BS Suspensions, and Vision Wheel. Well, you've done it here, buddy. A big congratulations to you and the top three finishers in the short course carts. Make your way up to the podium and a nice job here at the 50th anniversary of Crandon. Back up to you guys.